Okay, in this movie we're going to show three things. First, we're going to show how insanely easy it is to decode these JSON messages that are passed around as part of the notification server. Secondly, we're going to show you how you can publish to a topic from within a workspace. And thirdly, we're going to show you how easy it is to configure messages to be sent to mobile applications. So what we're going to do is we're going to build an FME Alerts Echoer application. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to decode one of these messages. Now, in the previous tutorial, what we did is we simply dumped the messages to a Google Fusion table. So in this one here, the first thing we want to do is we're going to put the message into a file. Okay, so this is a, a subscribe message. So you can see I've done this before. But all we do is we post the message, paste the message in there, and save it. And now I can debug this and develop these um, message processing of these mobile messages or notification messages right on my desktop. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Um, I'll just start one just so you see. So we use the, everybody's favorite reader, the text file reader. Okay, now, and then we go find the file. And we're going to say read the entire file at once because it's a single JSON message. And so we want it as one. And there we go. Now to decode the message, any JSON message, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put down a JSON flattener. Okay, and I'm going to simply pick the attribute text line data and, and that's it. And now if I log this message, you're going to see that what I have is I have a JSON I have that entire thing decoded into attributes. Okay, now how simple is that? Okay. Now in order to save a bit of time, I'm going to open an existing workspace. Okay, now, so now I have a slightly more complicated workspace. Here's the JSON flattener we just saw. And I'm simply exposing one of the attributes in that JSON called iOS token. Okay, so now this output attribute has output feature has two attributes, the token and the original one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some new JSON. That's very simple again. It's going to have a value, a tag called APNS token with the value of the attribute that's in the attribute iOS token that I just exposed and then a hard-coded message for the second tag which I call demo message and again the second tag I could have called it whatever I wanted. Okay. Okay, so now if I run this you're going to see there's my message there, result, da -da -da, APS token, demo messages, I got your subscription. Okay, so there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in an FME server notifier because I want to send this JSON to a server topic. Okay, so I got to configure that. Very simple. Dev.fme server.com. And the topic I'm going to grab. Again, I want to publish. In this case, I want to publish to the safe notification mobile send. The safe notification tutorial is the one that's incoming. And this, I'm going to use this one as the outgoing to send to the mobile device. And the content is going to be this result that I built. Okay, and so what I can do now is I can I can run this, okay, and um, hey, it was successful, okay, and away we go. Okay, so I'm going to publish this to the server, okay, okay, I'm going to add it to this repository here. I'm now going to configure the notification service, okay, I'm going to pick the topic that I want this one run on. Okay, so basically what happens is JSON is received via the topic safe notification tutorial. That causes a workspace to run. The workspace runs and it posts out to the other topic safe notification mobile send. That is as complicated as the workspace is going to get. Now I have to simply configure the APNS uh, notification. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and I've pre-configured one and you're going to see how easy that is. I'm going to go here. Okay, I simply said it's going to subscribe to the topic notification mobile send. So whenever that topic gets some JSON, 
This is an Apple push notification. Here's the key store path. This is the hardest part, getting this and this right. Okay, <clears throat> so I happen to have a key store that we got from Apple and a key store path. If you have any questions, contact us and we'll show you how to get these. Generally, a server would only need one. In this case, the server type is production because I'm hitting this machine, which is on the web. And the con I don't specify anything for the iOS device tokens because that is specified in the JSON message that I'm sending. And last but not least, the content that's going to be sent to the iOS device is hello colon. And then in brackets, I put demo message. Now, this demo message, if you'll recall, is the content of the JSON that I'm writing right there okay so basically it says grab this the, the value of this tag and put it in the message the okay and now I'm gonna get my FME alerts app going here I'm gonna go into settings and I'm going to subscribe to a topic and of course the one I subscribe to is a notification tutorial if I was being a little bit more thorough, I would have had a different user account so you wouldn't have even seen the safe notification mobile send. But I say save. If you look at the alerts, hey, I got a message. And it was at 306. So that a message by subscribing, I immediately got the subscription message right back. Okay, so we'll unsubscribe. Okay. And I got an unsubscribe message back. Because remember, all my workspace is doing is simply echoing back to this FME Alerts app. And that is the end of tutorial number two.